Hey there, I'm Akas Ahmad for Rexite and in today's video, we will be creating this kind of clean and minimal web page design using Adobe Photoshop. This video is part 1 of web page design series. In this video, we will be creating the base design and part 2, we will be creating a mockup for this design and in part 3, we will be creating a 3D mockup for it. And you can also download the project file or template of this tutorial from the link in the video's description. It is absolutely for free. Now without any further ado, let's jump into the Photoshop and get started. Okay, so open Photoshop and create new document. Size is 1920 by 1080 and the resolution is 72 pixel per inch. Click on create. First of all, we need to create the background. So to do this, let's create new gradient adjustment layer. And select this black and white gradient. Click here to edit the gradient. Select this slider and change its color. Also select this one and change its color to blue. You can choose any color that you like. I have already saved a gradient so I wanna select this one. Hit OK. Change its angle to 45 and scale to 30. Also check this jitter option to remove some of the bandages. And you can also move it with the help of your mouse. Now delete this background layer because we don't need it. Select the polygonal list tool and draw selection just like this. Create a gradient adjustment layer on top of it. Again click here. Select this black and white gradient. And from here you can change its color. I wanna select this gradient. Hit OK. Change its angle to minus 45 and move it to this side. Also check the dither option and then hit OK. Now select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle just like this. From the property panel, change its fill type from solid color to a gradient. Press Ctrl T and rotate it. Press Enter when you are happy. Change its blend mode to screen and drop down its opacity to 10%. Now the background is ready. So select all of these layers and click on this icon to group them together. And then rename it background. Select the rectangle tool, click on the canvas, put the value of your canvas width and height. In my case, it is 1920 by 1080. Select the move tool and align it to the center. Press Ctrl T to open transform tool and shrink it down just a little bit. Select the paint tool or right click on it and choose new guide from shape. It will create guides around this rectangle. Now delete this layer because we don't need it anymore. Now this is our safe area. Drag and drop your logo into the Photoshop, resize it and move it into the right place. You can also move it with the help of arrow keys. Now to add the menu, select the type tool, change the font style to light, size to 30 and the color to white. Click on the canvas and now start typing the name of your pages. Add few spaces and then type another page and so on. Confirm it when you are done, pick the move tool and position it into the right place. Now because we are designing a home page, we need to create an indicator which shows that we are in home page. So to do this, let's zoom in a little bit, select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle just like this. Click here and pick a dark blue color. Drag this layer beneath the text layer and drop down its opacity to 50%. Right click on it and choose blending option. In the layer style menu, click on drop shadow. Blend mood is normal. Color is white. Opacity is 100%, angle is minus 90, size is 0 and the distance is 2. It will create a simple indicator just like this one which is looking nice. Now select the type tool, change its color to white and draw a rectangle just like this. 
Here you can add detail of your page or anything that you want. Confirm it. Now click here, turn the font to black and increase its size to 85. Add your main title right here. Confirm it and position it into the right place. Now drag and drop this icon into the Photoshop. By the way, you can download them from the link in the video description. Select both icon, press Ctrl T to open transform tool and make it smaller. Also move it right here. Press enter to confirm it. Select one of these and move it to the right. You can also move them with the help of arrow keys. And now it is done. If you want to learn how to create this kind of mockup for this design, you can watch this video. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you learned something new from this video. If it did, subscribe to the channel. Also ring the bell icon so you will get notified whenever I post a new video. I will be catch you in my next video. Till then, peace.